The last thing I want to share with you, just having hope with Allah. And for some people, it's very hard to accept that Allah will actually listen. They've been going through a problem for a long time, and they start assuming Allah is not listening, Allah doesn't care, what's the point of making dua anyway? The first thing is, the greatest, the greatest gift you will ever get from Allah, you know what it is? Forgiveness. That's the greatest gift you'll ever get. Whether you realize its price or not. Everything else that Allah says He will give you is an added benefit. Everything else. Now, let me give you an example. I have kids. Let's say one of my kids made me very upset. He did something wrong. I got very angry. You should not have done that. You should not have spoken like that. I can't believe you did that. And I scold him. Now that I scold him, he goes home. He goes back and he's, he was drawing something for me. He was making me a card. Abba, I love you. And here's a house I drew or something. He drew something beautiful for me. And when he drew it for me, who's he supposed to give it to? He's supposed to give it to me. But he crumpled it up and threw it in the garbage. And before he threw it in the garbage, his other brother asked him, Hey, why, why didn't you give it to Abba? Why did you throw it away? Abba's so angry at me, he doesn't care about that. He doesn't, he doesn't really care. He doesn't love me anymore. If I knew that he felt that way, what would I do? Yeah, that's right, you better throw it away. No, I'd be in tears. How did you think I don't love you anymore? Yeah, you messed up. Yeah, you did something bad. But you're my baby. You can mess up a million times, I'll still love you. Even if I'm angry, I still love you. Give me that paper. I'll frame that paper. Forget putting it on the fridge. I'll put it behind the glass. I'll take it out of the garbage. I'll, I'll cherish it forever. Why? Because I love my child despite their mistakes. Even when they make me upset. That's just me and my child. When I'm not talking about me and my child. I'm talking about me and Allah. I mess up with Allah. I make mistakes. Allah doesn't even scold me. He didn't strike lightning, lightning from the sky. He didn't push me into hell. He didn't make my heart stop beating. Every time I lied, I didn't develop an inability to speak. Every time I ate something haram, my hand didn't become paralyzed. It didn't happen. Every time I looked at something haram, I didn't go blind. He still kept giving. He still kept providing. And I start thinking, well, Allah doesn't really love me anymore. We used to be good, but now that I'm bad, the love is gone. So what's even the point of making dua to Allah? Nobody will love you like Allah does. Every ounce of love I have for my child, every ounce of love you have for your child or you have for your parents, that love is only a fraction of something Allah put in you. You're not capable of loving anyone. The love we have is actually revealed from Allah. It's a gift from Allah. And if that's a little fraction of the love between two of Allah's creations, we can't imagine the love Allah has for us. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. The only one who believes Allah hates him, and that's it, their story's over, is shaitan. He believes it. There's no reason for him to ask for forgiveness, because he's, he's a lost cause. He's accepted that about himself. If you accept that about yourself, whose footsteps are you following? Think about that. If Adam salam was in Jannah, you couldn't have a better home than Jannah, and he made a mistake. And Allah Azza wa put him on the earth. If he starts believing, I have been given such a huge demotion, Allah is so upset with me, he brought me all the way to the earth. How can I ever speak to Allah again? After I've disappointed him so much. One of the first things, Allah taught him what to do. How to fix his heart. رَبَّنَا ظَلَمْنَا أَنفُسَنَا وَإِلَّمْ تَغْفِرْ لَنَا وَتَرْحَمْنَا لَنَكُونَنَّا مِنَ الْخَاسِرِينَ You could be in a really good place and you fell to a really bad place. You, to compare to Jannah, dunya is nothing. He went from Jannah to dunya. And as far down as he came, he's still just as close to Allah. Just those words are enough to connect him to Allah. Don't give up on dua. Make this month, this coming month, even from now, preparation, how you're going to make genuine, genuine dua to Allah. Know that Allah will listen to every one of your duas. Ujibu da'wat al-da'i idha da'an is an announcement of Ramadan. I immediately respond to the one who calls on me whenever they call on me. That's the promise of Allah. And the number one dua you make, number one dua I make is going to be for forgiveness. Allah says about nations that He won't destroy. There are nations that deserve to be destroyed and Allah wouldn't destroy them. You know why? Because among them there are people who still seek forgiveness.